The locking horizontal mattress suture is another technique that's used occasionally. The needle is inserted again at 90 degrees, exiting on the contralateral side. Needle is then reloaded with a backhand technique, inserted again at 90 degrees, and exits on the contralateral side. At this point, a horizontal mattress suture has been placed. In order to lock the suture, there are two approaches that have been advocated. One is to simply take the needle, pass it under the loop, pull through, and then tie the suture. The other technique and I'm just going to back out the needle here to demonstrate it. The other technique is to initiate tying before passing the needle under the loop so that the needle driver loops around the suture material twice, but then instead of grasping the tail, the needle driver instead passes under the loop, then grasps the tail. Notice that this has the same effect on the suture, but saves the move of passing the needle underneath the loop. Regardless of the technique used, this leads to an everting technique that also provides some hemostasis and some wound edge approximation as well.